guys. Okay, if you watch this video to the end, you are going to see that I took pre-algebra five times. Okay, so when I say I bought three of the, no, four of these boxes of floor, so I have 12, don't make fun of me. I saw it when I was watching it back and I was like, oh my gosh, you don't even know how to do math. But I do. Four times four is 16. <laughs> Told you. Okay. I told you guys I was going to do a red lip. Don't mind that my lips is going to change, are going to change in this video. I recorded the first part of this video and then I watched it back and I was like, ew, Kev hates it when I change my voice. Um, every girl has one, don't lie. We all have a phone voice. We all have a fake voice. And Kev hates it when I change my voice. And so I was trying to not change my voice and just have like a very mellow tone. And then when I watched it back, I was like, ew, I'm so monotone, I can't do it. So I had to record the first part of this. That's why it looks like I rubbed my red lips off, because I did, plus I get dry lips really bad. Um, and I have this ointment that is actually bomb. I'm not gonna talk about it today, but I'm gonna talk about it eventually. And you guys are all gonna say thank you, because it's seriously the bomb. And if you wear lip product every day, then you know my pain, because it is hard to keep your lips nice and moist if you're constantly wearing something on your lip besides like chapstick. Okay, I went to Ulta to find some red lip products. I have my fave that I always, always wear, but I wanted to find a deeper red, so I went to Ulta and I did find one. While I was there, I also found this awesome eyeshadow palette. It's for NYX. It's called the Warm Neutrals, and I was watching Carly Bible. If you guys are YouTubers, then you know who she is because she is a way popular, famous, amazing gorgeous hot youtuber and she does makeup and she um did this tutorial that was like fall inspired and she had these like red and orange tones on her eyes and they were so pretty so i wanted to find one this was like nine bucks super affordable and the pigment is like really rich i didn't do anything fancy but it's like pretty nice pop of color um and i feel like it's really festive you know, and like the red on red or like beige on beige or like blush on blush, like all those like color on colors are super trending right now. And they're really cute if you do it right. So red, red, red. We're going to do it, guys. We're going to do it. Okay. Um, I bought this Maybelline Color Blur and I really liked it because you have your color on this side. This is what you apply on your lip. And then it has this like blender on the end. And I love to blend my lips when I apply product because I feel like if you don't, you get product particles like along your lip line and it just looks really tacky. Like it looks messy. And so I love that it has the blender on this side. You can also just use like a lip brush if you have a makeup brush kit. Um, but I like the blender on that. I'm not gonna use this color today, but the color is pretty too. So, I always start with a lip liner. I used to think lip liners were not that important, but they are super important. They just make your lip look a lot neater and you get a better shape if you use a lip liner. So, I line, and I line kind of right outside my lip. So, I'm not like doing something super dramatic so you can totally tell, but I'm going on the outside of my lip line. Like so. And ladies, if you're going on a date and you don't want the guy to kiss you, wear lipstick. I know. Mind blown, because that is so smart. I've been on a lot of first dates where I like Put on the darkest lip color I can find so that that guy is coming nowhere near my lips. Doesn't always work. Sometimes you still have to like, you know, stop, drop, and roll. When that guy comes at you and you've got a full red lip on, you're like, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. You know, red means stop, green means go. Are my lips green? No, they're red. Okay, I'll shut up about that. Voila! 
Okay, so favorite red lip products. MAC, I am a hardcore brand loyalty person. I've been wearing MAC since I was like 14 and I love their products, like all of them. But I like their matte lipsticks. I don't like the sheen wear and I don't like the satin. And that is simply because I personally don't like a glossy look on my lips. Um, I think it just makes me look tacky for some reason. I don't know why I've always felt that way, but I just do. But this is my staple red for MAC. I use it. I've gone through probably three or four tubes of these in the last couple of years. It's Relentlessly Red and it's a matte color. Um, so it doesn't come in like the sheen or the satin. It just comes in matte. But I actually love the matte. It does dry out your lips a little bit. But that's why you need my secret awesome product that I'm not talking about today, but it's amazing and you're gonna want it. Another one, this is the NYX I'm wearing at the other in the other parts of this video. Um, soft matte lip cream, love this stuff. It dries and it just wears really, really nice. And I don't feel like it um, dries out your lips and it's like five bucks. And this one's in Madrid. So this is a deeper, closer to like the color of my sweater kind of red. This is a very neon bright red. Um, I always get compliments on this one. And then this NYX lip liner is NYX in Cherry Sky. Um, I think I mentioned that at the end. And then this Maybelline Blur is by Lip Studio. And this one's in Partner in Crimson. Awesome. I will link everything below. And thanks for watching. Sorry, this video is not very fluid, but I am going to practice my editing skills. So if this video is edited, you guys should give me a thumbs up because that means I did it. This is a bit much with like the red lip, the red eyes and like the red sweater, but it's fine, right? <laughs> it's like really trendy right now anyways to wear shade on shade on shade. So like red on red on red or white on white on white or whatever, you know? So it works, right? It's really pretty. Okay, I will link my favorite red lips down below so that you can see what they are. Sorry that that was kind of lame. Now that it's done, I'm like, that was kind of lame. But that's okay. Um, I went shopping today for Christmas decor and I went to Down East, which is like an out, which is like a, what's it called? Like an outhouse, but it's not an outhouse. <laughs> Like where they buy brand names and then they sell them on sale. What the heck? Outlet. It's an outlet. Um, so I went to the Down East Outlet today and I was looking for Christmas decor and I found these adorable little balls. They are West Elm. Originally they cost $12.99, but I got them on sale for $1.99 and then there was an additional 25% off their holiday decor. And I thought they were so cute. And I like asked Mario, how do you feel about these balls? Aren't they so cute? And he was like, yeah, I'm going to hit that so hard like a pinata. And I was like, no, you're not, because I will spank you if you do. So I bought 34 of these cute little red pinata balls. I'm a little bit worried that Kev might hate them. And then they had this paper garland. I am not sure if this is going to work how I want it to, like if it's going to be as cute as it is in my head. Um, but it's just a paper garland, and you can, like, do it around your tree. So I thought that was fun and different. I like to not be like the norm, you know, like I like to have something that's just a little bit different. So I bought those and then I like the green in Christmas trees. I think it's nice to have red and green just cause I'm very traditional, you know? And so I bought these sparkle green balls and I bought four packs. So what is that, 12? Um, of the sparkly green ones and then I bought these matte green balls just to add in like a different texture but also keep on that like green trend. I bought 12 of these and then I bought this garland of bells. Um, I actually bought four boxes of the bell garland but I don't know if I like that it's actually garland so I think I might just get a hot glue gun and cut this and make it just like its own little ornament and then have little jingle bells on the tree. That'll be cute, right? That'll be like in Mean Girls when they're like, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Just kidding. But we'll see how that goes. I am so ready. It's December 1st. 
so ready. It's December 2nd. I lied. So ready to get into holiday season. Mariah has been asking when we are going to do our tree, and we have been meaning to, but we have just been so busy. So tonight we are going to watch a Christmas movie. We're going to have hot chocolate. I bought mint truffle stuffings. And we're going to get seasony. So I'm really excited. And I'll post a picture of the tree. Anyways, if you guys have any questions about like a red lip or red colors, I have probably worn them. Again, I love red lips. I always wear them. So I hope you love. You guys should like and subscribe and leave a comment and leave your love. And let's be friends. Bye, guys. Okay, it's so late. It's 1.21 in the morning. 1.21 a.m. But I went and got Chinese food tonight for my little fam. And I came home, brought the Chinese food up. Kev went downstairs to take out the trash. And then he came back up and he's like, Cam, did you leave this on your car? And I was like, like what on my car? And he brings in this. What? What's in the bag? So I was like, no, I didn't leave it on my car. So we start digging in it. There's this bath bomb, super smelly bath bomb. So it's got to be from Lush. There's this candle. It's a cute little festive candle, right? Then there's this little shower radio doodad thing. I didn't even know what it was, but Kev did. There's a cord in there too. And last but not least, boobs. What? Who left all of this shower stuff and fake boobs on my car? It's weird, right? I put it on Facebook and some guy's like, you're lying. You left it yourself. My mom called me right after we picked it up, so I totally thought it was my mom. But I have no idea. I kind of feel like it was a mistake. Like maybe someone was on their way to white elephant. Or I kind of feel like it's really creepy. Like a bunch of bath stuff and fake boobs. And not only are they fake boobs and bath stuff, but they attach to your shower. So you can like put it on the shower. You know? It's weird. Right guys? Sorry I should censor this because it's naughty. It's just super weird. If you left me bath stuff on fake boobs, let me know, dog, so I can get you back, dog. Merry Christmas.